Mitch King from Galveston, Texas, here with the Bone Bucket. Well, this is actually the first real fuel car I've ever owned, and we've had it a long time. Uh, you know, it runs 550s in the quarter mile, and uh, got a pretty simple operation here. No, no management, no air bottles, nothing, uh, nothing but old school stuff on this car. Uh, I learned and got my license in this car, and then I went on up to Top Fuel and Fuel Funny Car, and uh, won national events in both, and uh, licensed quite a few guys, and got fortunate enough to win. Uh, IHRA championships in Top Fuel in 08 and 09 with uh, Spencer Massey and Dell Cox driving my cars in that 08 and 09 year and uh, licensed a lot of other guys and been kind of parked for four, five, six years and decided we'd drag the bone bucket back out and have a little fun and so uh, basically I'm up here, you know, with all these guys just kind of renewing my license. Well, this is a simple car. It doesn't have management and air bottles and, you know, mag jigglers and all that. It's uh, got a pedal clutch and a Scott pump, but, uh, you know, it, it'll run 360s in the eighth mile and some 550s in the quarter mile. You know, so it's a lot less work than the fuel car, the fuel funny car, and uh, you can have a little bit more fun with it. The Bone Bucket, we came up with that name because uh, every now and then somebody throw us a bone and we were looking for a name for it, and so uh, up we came with Bone Bucket. And uh, just kind of stuck, we had a good time with it. Uh, you know, this is kind of a little bit old school, you know, uh, no management, no dual mags, no clutch management. Uh, got a two speed and a pedal clutch and uh, manually shifted. I run a little Scott pump, which is kind of rare for these guys. Uh, but it does do the job because we've run a couple of 550s in the quarter mile with this thing. And, uh, we've got a little bit of late model stuff on the motor because this is kind of a leftover motor out of one of my top fuel cars. And we just got it back down, you know, blower running slow and one mag. And, but uh, it's a legal fuel funny car chassis, but you know, got a manual shifter, manual reverse, you know, uh, no air bottles or nothing. And, uh, it's just fun to drive and uh, a lot less work to work on than a real fuel car. After we, it was just like a 23T body, but after we burned it up two or three times, we had a tattoo artist that uh, came up with a t-shirt design for us and he's the one that drew all that. If you notice, these are all skulls done in here with an airbrush. And uh, so you can kind of tell he was a tattoo artist. And, uh, he, he put molded and sculpted the the skull look and the eyeballs there and the nose bone and uh, so it kind of stuck. It made t-shirts so good. So we stuck with it. Well, it's the most ill-handling, dangerous, obnoxious machine you can drive. And uh, you got to be a little more brave when the motor's up there between your legs.
Uh, my wife threw me a 60th birthday party here a month or so ago, and so we cranked it up. And did a little burn out there in the shop with it tied to the floor, and uh, so we cranked it up. And did a little burn out there in the shop with it tied to the floor, and. Uh, Got us all pumped back up, so we decided to recertify everything and come out and uh, you know renew my license and you know try to have a little fun again. Ready? Here we go.